Hey, last week marked 50 years since Australian troops were withdrawn from the Vietnam War. And that war between North and South Vietnam lasted 20 years, although I have to say our involvement was somewhat briefer. However, it did involve over 60,000 Australian troops and it resulted in 523 dead and over 3,000 wounded. At the time, I guess most people thought we were doing the right thing over there. After all, we were defending freedom from the threat of communism. But looking back, one wonders how we were lured into a US proxy war that was essentially built on a lie. I say that because the US justified their escalation of involvement in the war based on the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Now that encounter, the Gulf of Tonkin incident, began in a real enough fashion. On July 31, 1964, the United States patrol boat shelled some North Vietnamese islands, which led to a US warship, Maddox, entering the area. Now, Maddox was confronted by three Soviet-built North Vietnamese torpedo boats, which led to Maddox firing some warning shots. Well, the North Vietnamese boats were having none of it. They were undeterred and they returned fire. Now, Maddox reportedly received no damage, save for a single bullet lodged in her superstructure. So it was hardly a, you know, a terrible event. Then the following day, Maddox was joined by the US destroyer Turner Joy, and then they both engaged in a more offensive, uh, I guess, actions against North Vietnamese positions. And on August the 4th, the Maddox and Turner Joy reported being ambushed, claiming that enemy boats had fired 22 torpedoes. And that led to US President Johnson ordering airstrikes and seeking authorization of Congress to enter the war formally. Well, that endorsement was forthcoming and it was virtually unanimous with just two dissenting votes in the US Senate. And the president told the US public that the attacks were unprovoked and he never disclosed the clandestine activities of US forces. But there was actually a bigger problem. The second incident, the one involving the Turner Joy and Maddox, never happened. Intelligence officials knew this. They knew it was fabricated, but they covered up essential facts from Congress. Essentially, the US formally escalated engagement in the Vietnam War based on fake news. Australia followed suit at the request of the United States. And like so many wars, it proved to be a senseless endeavour that took a heavy toll on the national psyche and on the soldiers too that went to fight. Many who returned were scarred by what they saw and the battles they fought. And many more were further damaged by the response they received from the Australian public who had turned against the war and quite strongly. Some of those members of the public unfairly sought to blame the men who served rather than those that forced them into service. In my view, it was truly a war where there were no winners. The result was lives damaged and wasted and a community divided, again, based mainly on a lie. We've entered wars since then. Unfortunately, most of them have been based on lies too. Politicians will insist they act in good faith and they're using accurate information, but the truth eventually emerges and too often, the Western propaganda is revealed. I'm loath to say that much has changed over the years. I'd hazard a guess it hasn't. Government still lies to get what they want, when they want it. And the media, media dutifully deliver the preferred narrative, often refusing to question the obvious falsehoods, while the citizens were left to pay the ultimate price. Rarely do those who give the orders wade into battle for themselves. They leave that for others while giving lip service to empathy and understanding and, and the tragic events that unfold, they offer up thoughts and prayers. Well, in my view, it's all a waste. Fighting wars at the behest of dishonest politicians and the defence industry is a fool's game. It's high time we learn that lesson before they have us doing it again.